This video just demonstrates a new feature of reversing the input connectors. If you look at the way the servo controllers worked in the past, um, if you open circuit a switch, I'll remove this cable, you can see they move to the top. Now this doesn't normally matter unless you're running semaphore signals and you're trying to model it in a scale like manner. So if I go to, uh, for example, program uh, semaphore, I'll set um, lower quad uh, upper quadrant, danger and clear. Let's get the rest. We can see now that when I flick the switch, the semaphore goes clear, let it go, and it falls to danger. Normal railroad operation is if the, if the switch input goes open circuit, it would fall to danger. But in the case of this, the default has been it moves to clear. So what we've done, we've just made a little software tweak. So if you hold the mode button down while you power on, you get a light going left to right. This means it's in the normal manner now, the new normal, which is reversed from the old way. So now, when I pull open circuit, the semaphore falls to danger and back up. So I've effectively reversed the input of the switch. The same also works for um, lower quadrant semaphores. It's basically just flip the inputs. Now, the default, if I factory reset the board, is the new way of working. So it's, it's back to front from what you're used to. So you turn it on, flick the switch, and it comes this way. Let's go back to a semaphore. Program, two clicks for upper quadrant. Quick test, open circuit, and it falls to danger. This is the default. So let's just go over changing the modes again or reversing the inputs. Press and hold the mode switch, power on. Right to left means it's reversed. It's the opposite way we normally read. Repeat the operation, left to right on the LEDs. And now it's going the new correct way. Open circuit, falls to danger.